from Blockies. It is the Galaxy version model kits, version three. And it's the Autobot run, though there's Decepticons in there too. And it also says, come gather your Cybertronian or your Cybertron army. Should have been Cybertronian, but I'm not gonna quibble. They're cool. This is the third set of these particular guys. They're easy to assemble model kits and just great characters. And I even did not put together this one so I could do it again for you. In case you haven't seen my other video where I did show how to put one together, I'm gonna put this one together for you. I'm Captain Kyle. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. If you're a long time viewer or a short time viewer, thanks for coming back. And we're gonna have some fun with these and uh, I'll go through all these characters. I even got the chase. Be right back. By the way, full disclosure, I received these at no cost from Blockies so that I could review them for you. This will be a 100% honest review, though I had these before, so I don't anticipate any problems. But I do wanna thank Blockies for sending these to me. I love these figures, and so let's get into it. All right, so you can see the lineup here. I'm gonna go through them much more in detail, but I'm gonna slide these over here, and I'm gonna put some uh, bookmarks in the video in case you wanna skip watching the whole assembly of Bumblebee, because that's the one that's gotta be in here, process of elimination, and just get into the uh, figures themselves. But for those who would like to know how to put these together, they're pretty simple. In the box, there are two bags and instructions. Now the instructions are interesting because they show like how to put together one of them and the steps apply to most, but then they go into some of the other figures and show the specifics for those. And while most of them are robot mode figures, like Scrapper here, Kill Prowl, just like with the Grimlock in the previous series, they have a slag and slag in both robot and dino mode. Now the box itself shows all the different figures, including the fact that there is a sound wave and a chase sound wave, which I'll be showing you. And it's hard to see because the print is a little small, but it looks like they're calling slag, either slag or slog, not slug. It's hard to tell there might be a little thing on the O that makes it into an A, but I'm gonna call them slag anyway. So again, the two bags, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Now, one of them has parts super specific to this figure and also an Energon cube here for Bumblebee. Interesting. The other one has parts that are more common, though they're not always the same uh, color, but it has the base, hands, and then the connectors. So these connectors here, you have the shoulder connectors and you have the joint connectors. So first thing I always do is just pop the connectors off, throw on little sprues. Luckily the rest of the stuff other than the hands are not on sprues. Cause popping these off can start to hurt the fingers when you do eight in a row. But the joints here, you have a little piece with a post and then you have one with a hole and you just line up the hole, squeeze the joint together and there you go. And you just do that four times, two, three and four. So I'm gonna widen the view a little bit here, but you basically have to put the head together. So you have a face, you have an inner connector for the head, you have the back of the head and the front of the head. And if it's a little bit different for some of them, it will actually show you exactly how to put those together. In the case of Bumblebee, you take the back of the head, you plug in the blue piece. It has a little post that goes into a hole in the back of the head. Put that in as a face, plug that in, and then you take the front of the head, squeeze it together, and there's his head. Now they all have similar heads to put together. They also have similar interior bodies. They have these little clear posts with uh, rounded ball joints on them that always go in the top. You pop the shoulders on like so. Now the shoulders have these little posts that stick out forward and back, and that actually uh, kind of fits onto the chest pieces. So you take the chest pieces, put them on either side, snap it together, and you have the body. And then if you want, you can pop on the head. Now Bumblebee has a piece that most don't have. It's a little spare tire, goes right on its back. So the arms are little pieces. They have a, a ball joint connector and a hole on the bottom, and they have two little nubs here and here, which will have shoulder covers for him. So you take and pop on the joint, and then you can take the forearm and pop it together like so, and you can snap on his arm at the ball joint. Now he has shoulder covers, so you just kind of slide down and you can hear him snap into place. And there you go. He's partly put together. Other arm, very similar. Find the one with the nub, pop on the joint. And then pressing it down onto a hard surface can make it easier because you hear the snap and you know you're good. 
So next arm, shoulder cover, and there he is. Now they all have the same type of crotch plate, so you put that in there, and they have two almost identical pieces that go on either side. Now sometimes, but not always, the crotch piece, one of them will have some paint or sticker wraps. In this case, there is none, so it doesn't really matter which side you put it on, but obviously if there is some kind of design, that generally goes on the front. Now the legs, the actual uh, thighs are not that much bigger than the upper arms, so, but they don't have the little uh, nubs on them. And again, just grab the joint, put it in there, make sure the knee is facing the right way. The lower legs are generally two pieces. One is the uh, kind of the back of the leg and one is the front and they pop together like so. You also would take one of those clear ball joint pieces and pop it on. Now Bumblebee actually has feet that are a little bit different because he's got the Volkswagen front on his feet. So you wanna put those on. There's a little post and just look at the feet and you can tell generally which is the left and which is the right. So you wanna put them on like that and we're popping on the leg. So as you can see, it doesn't take long to put these guys together. Our last joint, pop together the leg, add the little ball joint to the bottom, pop it together, add the foot, and Bumblebee's almost done. Now he comes with a little view screen thing that you can put into his fist. You might also put it into one of the holes on his arm so it could be like a communicator. Now here's his hands. He also comes with one which is a thumbs up. It's a left hand, so you can pop that in and he can be doing a thumbs up and be like, excellent Spike, we'll get some weed. Now he's got open hands, which you can always switch out and closed hands. I'm gonna use the closed hand so I can put his gun, which he actually comes with a gun, into his hand like so. They generally give you an extra one of these in case you lose one. He's got an Energon cube for some reason, and he's got this thing, which might be a blast effect, so he could be shooting. And there you go, there's Bumblebee. And you can put him on the stand, and there you go. With his Energon cube, let's spin him on the turntable of doom. So that's how you put them together. You have options with the hands, you can remove the communicator, and these guys are ultra posable. I mean, you can kick forward, you can do full Jean-Claude Van Damme's pretty much, you can bend at the knee. If they pop apart, you just pop them back together. But unlike like some Lego style stuff, not actual Lego, but Lego style stuff, it's actually holds together very well when you're posing him. Hi, Sky. Are you a fan of Bumblebee or just these model kits in general? It's okay. Sky, of course, is the star of the show, but kind of like Kevin Smith with comic book men, she makes an occasional appearance and that's enough. Of course, Kevin usually uh, doesn't show up on the show and lick the figures of any of the uh, hosts on the show. That would be kind of weird. Sky can get away with it. All right, so Bumblebee, very cool figure. Now I'll go through the other ones pretty quickly, but they have some neat ones. They have an Ultra Magnus here, and he has a big gray Optimus looking gun. Now this is Ultra Magnus without his battle armor. Apparently a version with the battle armor is gonna be coming in the next wave, along with a shock wave. It actually shows you on the packaging. Coming soon, but he's got a cool ax. And again, the posability is awesome. Put them on the stand, don't put them on the stand, whatever you wanna do. This is obviously a recolor of the Optimus Prime mold that they used before. Big surprise, uh, Ultra Magnus based on Optimus Prime. But he does come with this really cool ax. You can have it further down or he can be ready to swing it and just behead somebody. Give him the spin on the turntable of doom. He's even got a little cover on the back. Smokestacks, Autobot symbols. He's really cool. I do really like these figures. Yes, they don't transform, but they're better than Action Masters and fun to put together. Switching to the other team, as you got a view of Scrapper before, I'm um, sorry, Scavenger before. You can see he's got his power shovel on the back. He's got the gun, not the gun that he killed Prowl with, but he's got a gun there. And again, very posable. I'm wondering, I mean, they're, they've done two Constructicons in the previous wave. They're doing two more in this one. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be able to merge them, but I'm wondering if they're gonna come out with a special one that's like a devastator that you put together. That would be very cool. But very cool, very posable, and again, they're, they're pretty clever to put together. Another Autobot, red alert. No, Inferno, you have to stay. Yeah. You're out to get me. So red alert, very cool figure. He's got the shoulder cannon, which again, that's different than some of the other bots. He's got arm armor, which actually has the Fire Chief logo and text as if he was gonna transform. And he's got the uh, the Fire Chief symbol on the front, along with an Autobot symbol and headlights. But again, a very cool figure. The other Constructicon is Bone Crusher. Now Bone Crusher, who are you calling inferior? He was actually my favorite of the Constructicons just because of his transformation. He had two legs. I thought it was a clever transformation to put the uh, 
the power shovel, which actually opens here on his chest. And yeah, he looks a lot more cartoon accurate than the toy, but the original Bone Crusher toy, definitely near and dear to my heart. I'm gonna bring two out at once because we have slag and we have slag. Now slag does come with a base, but you can't really put slag in dino mode on the base very well, like one foot. So I'm not gonna use the base for slag. The robot version comes with this nice long sword. In fact, I wish they'd make him that long for uh, in proportion with the actual transforming toys. And he's got the whole assembly on the back here. He's got the uh, lower jaw and his chest. A few extra pieces on him. And you do need to look at the legs because you want to have these fake transformational pieces on the outside of his legs. So don't mix those up. But again, easy to fix. You can always pop them back out if need be. Stay over there. But yeah, very poseable. And the Dinobot mode now it uses the same base inside, but not all these same joints and stuff. So he comes with extra pieces. He's got the horns. His tail can actually move. The head in dino mode can turn and move. The jaw can actually open, which is kind of cool. And the legs are also poseable. Not as quite as poseable as a robot mode, but still overall very cool homage to the original slag and great attention to detail. They both look very cool. Only a couple more to go. Next is Sideswipe, obviously based on the same mold as Red Alert. Also has arm armor, no print on them, but he doesn't need it. He's got the Autobot symbol on his chest. And here's what I'm talking about when you're putting the crotch together. He's got a little arrow pointing down on his crotch. I don't know why. It's like, kneel before Sideswipe and do naughty things. But again, the shoulder mounted missile, gun, lots of posability, a very cool figure. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, I managed to snag the box that uh, they sent me, a chase version of Soundwave. So he's more metallic in his paint job. Plus he has laser beak that you can put on his arm, but he's got the standard Soundwave weapon, the shoulder cannon. And here's another instance where his crotch piece has like the play buttons and stuff. So forward, back, play, rewind, record, all that stuff. So you don't want to put it, the back plate is plain. But again, the attention to detail is awesome. And you can even open up his chest and he's got a cassette in there. It's kind of purplish, might be rumble, but he does have an actual cassette. I think the cassette comes also with the standard one. The standard one doesn't come with this paint job in the laser beak, but these guys are so cool. Now, the one thing that I've noticed with these guys, with these uh, Blockies kits, is that generally they make more Autobots than Decepticons. So the Decepticons are feeling a little outnumbered. I mean, they're supposed to be more powerful, but when you have like Grimlock and Slag and Ultra Magnus, yeah, maybe not so much more powerful. Though, to be honest, you're not supposed to use both of these at the same time. But this is a very cool set. I love the Galaxy uh, line, all of them. So these will be joining the other Autobots and Decepticons and filling out my collection. And again, I want to thank uh, Blockies for sending these to me at no cost so I could review them and share them with you. Well, not literally. I can't pass this through the screen. That'd be, that'd be nuts. All right, one Energon Cube, fight. So I will put links in the description to the Blocky's website, you can buy direct from them. You may throw in some other links for those who may be in other parts of the world or prefer to add it to your AliExpress order. You can go through AliExpress. There's there's a number of retailers that carry these. And in some cases, I there's a local couple local toy stores out in my area that actually get these and sell them. They do come in blind boxes. If you're gonna buy them individually, you may not get uh, a whole set, you might get doubles. Generally not in the same box, but that's why I prefer to get the whole box that has all nine. And the only possibility is that you might get a chase instead of the regular version of the figure and hoo hoo, not to be worried about. So these guys I think are a lot of fun. I'm gonna have fun adding them to my display upstairs. And I hope you're having a lot of fun watching these videos. And if you are enjoying this content, feel free to subscribe. That'd be awesome. And while you are mulling these guys over, you can check out this video over here, which is actually the Galaxy Series 2, which is nine more of these uh, wonderful toys. And that one I don't show how to assemble, but go back to the first one for that. But thanks for watching. Hope you're having a lot of fun. And as always, have fun and good hunting.